Here we go again, working with Image Magic today. We're going to display, which is part of the Image Magic package, our input file, which is im000242.jpg, and it's a image of Fat Frog. If you don't know who he is, go ahead and YouTube him. He's got some pretty cool videos. Okay, what we're going to use, we're going to use convert dash fill. Oh, I should probably say what we're doing today. We're working with tinting or colorizing an image. So we got convert dash fill, and we'll just say blue. We'll say colorize, and we'll give it a percentage of 50%. We'll give it our input image, which we've already said is called image or im 000242.jpg and we're going to make our output file a png so not only is it adding the effect but we're going to convert it to a png give it any file extension you want and image magic will most likely convert it to that format if it's an image format anyway see how long this takes doesn't take long at all we're going to go display and we're going to give it our output image and see how it looks hey we got a tinted image of Fat Frog. Wasn't that fun? Let's do the same thing, but we'll change blue to red. We'll display the output. Hey, he's tinted red. Let's try green. Fat Frog does love green. And he's tinted green now. I think you see where this is going. And, um,. Let's try a different percentage now. We'll go 20%. Display that out, and you can see the green is not as uh, predominant. Let's go 80%. And you can almost not even see Fat Frog. There's so much green in this image. So higher the number, the more the color will stand out. Now, as we stated, you can type the color name for many colors, but if you're trying to get a exact color, uh, you can use RGB. So what we're going to do is, instead of typing in the name of the color, inside single quotes, we're going to type RGB, and then inside parentheses, we're going to give it our values for RGB. Obviously, they're, they're separated by commas, and obviously, the first number is red, second number is green, and the third number is blue. So if we want it to be uh, green, we can say 0, 255, and the values are from 0 to 255, 255, um, and 0. And this should get us basically the same effect. I'm going to lower it back down to 50%. We'll display that out, and you can see it's green because there's zero red and zero blue, and basically 255 is 100% green. Let's go ahead and put the green to zero, and we'll go 25 red, 25 blue. And I'm thinking, I was thinking it was going to give us a little bit of a purple color, which it kind of did. Let's go a little bit stronger with those colors. Let's go 125 and 125 because obviously those numbers are kind of low, and there we go. It's kind of a purple color. Now you could probably type purple. I've never tried that. But you can get an exact color that you want using RGB that way. So that's colorizing or tinting an image uh, using image magic. And just remember, it's convert, fill, the color that you want to colorize to, colorize, and the percentage you want to colorize to. Input file, output file. It's that simple. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. I hope that you have a great day. The link is in the description.